How y'all doing today? Hey. <clears throat> All right, guys. Um, uh, see where I want to start at. Because I, let me just tell you a couple of things that's going on. Um, um, we have completed uh, the app. Okay, the app is complete. It uh, the last piece that I told you we had to add into the app was um, the ability for us to be able to um, protect the domain name. Okay, and so I'm just going to give a a laundry list of things that the app will do for those new people who may not know. Okay, <clears throat> well, um, if you Google or if you go to your app store, you look up texting apps or whatever. Basically, virtually all of those apps do exactly the same thing, okay? And uh, there has not been a major, major breakthrough in that industry in a very long time, very long time, okay? And so, you know, we had the idea to build an app that was so far advanced that is actually revolutionary compared to what's out there. And that's some, if you go to our website, uh, Textagram.com, and you there's some scrolling logos in gray on that website. If you click on it, you'll see a bunch of articles. Okay, I'm gonna talk about it in a minute. But what the app does, what makes it so revolutionary, <clears throat> is that if you wanted to send a hundred text messages out to people, it would be extremely difficult for you to do that. It'd be very time consuming, and if you put everybody in a group. Now you have 100 people mad at you because you put them in a group and every time somebody re reply, everybody sees the reply. And it's just, a, it's just a, a horrible situation. And it's been like that for a very long time. And so, <clears throat> so what our app does is it allows people to send out, create a group of people, you know, put them all in a group and um, you can add people to it from the contacts in your phone or you can add people to it one at a time. So if you have, their name and phone number, you put their type in their first name, and their phone number, and save it into a group that you create. But once you had this group created, then you can create a text message that you want to go out to this group. And so you type the message in or whatever, um, and you can, save, you can save the message. And you can even tell the message, like how you want the greeting to be. So if you want to say, hi, hi, Tom, or, or greetings, Tom, or hello, Tom, you can choose multiple uh, salutations uh, to go out uh, with it, you know, in your message automatically. But what's really cool <clears throat> is that the app is using AI. And this is where the revolutionary part is because everything now is moving to AI, everything. Every single thing is going to eventually have AI built into it. So it's a race to see who can bring this technology to people the quickest. So people who are able to move the quickest with this have a chance to gain market share. And way people are, if you give them some great value, and especially something that 100, 700, no, 7 billion people have, and these 7 billion people now, they look, go looking for an app to do certain things. And we got it. They're going to download it for free. They're going to test it. It's, they're going to love it, how powerful it is, how fast it is how accurate it is, okay? And, you know, and then they become customers. Now, it's not affiliates. They're going to become customers. I'm going to talk about the difference between affiliates and a customer in a moment. But now, when you send that message, I say, to 100 people, it literally reads, proofreads your message. The AI proofreads your message, fixes any grammar errors, punctuation errors, um, typos, anything like that. It fixes your message. And I know when I send out a message to people and I don't use the app, I always have a typo, a misspelling word or something. No, and I can't see it because you can't proofread your own, own, your own work, your own writing. You just can't do it. And I, and I read it and uh, Stan and, and Fiona would tell me, this doesn't make sense. Read that out. Read it out loud. And I go to reading and I put a word in there. They say, is that what it really says? But my mind seen the word, <laughs> but the word ain't really there. <laughs> and so, and so you know, it's just hard to proofread your own stuff. Well, you don't have to do it no more because the AI is going to proofread and fix it. 
So your messages go out perfectly. Okay, also, there's something else going on, too, that, that nobody else is doing it. If you send out the exact same message 100 times, these cell phone providers have these spam filters. And what these spam filters do is if they see the exact same message go out 100 times. If you see it go out 100 times, it's going to literally um, uh, block it or block your message because it's going to say, oh, because this must be spam because they send the same message out over and over and over. So what our AI does is it rewrites the message a hundred different ways, okay? Same message, changes out the verbiage, moves the words around or whatever. Every single me word, uh, message is different than the next message. So it looks as though you spent time creating a custom message for that individual. So it don't get marked as spam. It's ingenious right here, okay? Ingenious. So it stops the spam filter. Nobody's doing it. Nobody is remotely close to having anything like that in the marketplace. Okay, it's better. Now, if you wanted to send a message to somebody that speaks Portuguese, okay, it would be extremely difficult for you to text back and forth internationally with somebody who does not speak your language. Because one of you guys, or even both of you guys, are going to have to copy what the one wrote, go to the, another app, put in a translator, translate it, read it, then type your message up in English or whatever, then put it into a translator and then send it to the person, okay? So it's tremendously slow and, and, and cumbersome. Where our app translates automatically on the fly to any language you want. You want to send it in Mandarin? Boom, no problem. Type your message up in English. Say, I want this to go in Mandarin. I want this to go in, 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 in um Spanish and Portuguese, whatever language, okay? And when they phone beat with that text message, it's going to be perfectly written in their native language. Hindu, anything. Isn't that incredible? It's absolutely revolutionary. So, so, so the plan is very simple, okay? When we take this app and we put it in, in, into the app store, and 7 billion people have access to it, we're going to gain customers, okay? Now, this is where this is where none of us have ever heard or seen anything like, we have heard it before, but nobody has been able to pull this off. Nobody has been able to pull it off what I'm going to share with you. This is not network marketing, because we don't want imports of network marketing because it, it carries too big of a stigma. And it's, you know, you know, it just, it, it, it has, you know, 10 years ago, it was, it, you know, it, it was okay. Today, it's not, you know, it's just like a, it's a dinosaur. And I'm going to tell you what happened in that work market. What happened is people got a ba bad taste in their mouth because when they would, would join and they would have a city, this opportunity to make money, most of them could never really make any money. And the reason they could never make any money was because they had no skills, okay? You can't ask a school teacher to turn into a salesperson. You can't ask a, a person who cut grass or, or do landscaping to turn into, you know, a great salesperson. You know, if they're not a, a great speaker or salesperson, great presentations, an outspoken, outgoing person who know a lot of people or whatever, they're going to fail. And so what I found is that you would have, have, you say you got a thousand people. Well, I ain't but probably 10 of them, if you, you know, maybe maybe 20, if you're lucky, is really making any money. And now you got 980 people that's a part of your company that's not making money and they're disgruntled, they're mad, and they never stick around. So you can't really build nothing substantial that's gonna last. We've seen it all. We've all been a part of that stuff. And it comes and goes. You know, just as hard as you work to build it, it goes away. But what? But there's one other bad thing that I've seen over the years, because I used to, you know, in my office, people would fly in and the Rolex watches and all this stuff, you know, all this flash. And <clears throat> and I would watch, they bring they bring a bunch of people with them. They make a bunch of money. But then I go look at all the people they brought in. They, they did nothing, okay? They made nothing. 
And that always bothered me because you want to know why they bothered me? Because what a lot of these guys did is they promised that person that signed up, oh, don't worry, I'm going to build it for you. I'm going to build it for you. We all have heard that. Okay, you just get in and I'm going to build it for you. Well, that's people would then spend their money to, to be a part of that. And then, sure enough, the people would abandon them because they could not deliver. They could not deliver. And they have used that as a tool to, you know, basically trick people. All right. Because they just wanted to get paid that money. So they'll tell people anything to make that commission. Well, that's been going on for years and it's given uh, that industry a black eye and people are tired of it. But we actually have a platform that can pull that off. And here's how. When you look up a text messaging app in the app store, and this is what people do. They go to the app store, they're looking for an app that translates their messages. Okay, we talked about billions of people just looking for an app to send out multiple messages to groups. Better way to send messages to groups. Better way to send messages that automatically translates, that maybe proofreads, whatever they're looking for. They find our app, they download it, they try it. They download that. When they download that app, we basically have a customer, new customer right there. Because, you know, they get a trial version. They, they get 10 credits to try it out. We package those people up as customers. And we say to you guys, hey, if you want to buy some customers, they're for sale. Okay. And so you say, okay, because there's two ways. Well, there's three ways for you to normally get a regular customer. You can go out yourself and try to find them. You know, go out yourself and try to find them and, and promote to them and talk to them or whatever. You can advertise, spend money on advertising and hope that people see your ad and respond to your ad or what have you. Or now you can just say, well, hell, let me have 50 customers. Okay. <laughs> All right. If, I, if uh, uh, it's $50 for 10 customers. Okay. So that's basically $5 a customer. And it's pretty much guaranteed. It's not like when you, when you run an ad, you don't know what you're going to get back. Okay. But here's the thing about when you get a customer, they already downloaded the app. They're interested already. They already sold, okay? And every time that customer adds 2,500 text credits to the app, it costs $37 to do that. When they add 2,500 text credits, you make a $10 commission for life, okay? But here's what's cool about customers. You would pull your hair out if you had 2,500 uh, affiliates in your, on your, in your business, okay? They would drive you nuts, okay? They would drive you nuts. You're going to have 500,000 customers, and you'll never hear a peep out of none of them. Any one of y'all ever called one of the apps on your phone and say, hey, uh, what's you don't call them. You don't call them. They, 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 they load up the app. They use the app for what they need to use it for them. It's clean. It's clean business. They're happy. They run out. They buy some more uh, credits. And here's the thing. People who are going to buy this app, uh, download it, and use it, they're probably sending out a lot of text messages, okay? Which means that, you know, we got people who buy uh, uh, credits every week. So four times a month, they're buying credits. If that was your customer, that's $40 in residual income every month times 12 months for life, okay? Because that's how they promote their business. It's a tool that allows them to promote their business. And once they start using it, there's nothing to compete. So they're going to keep using it. And even if somebody come along and we had a chart on our website to show you everybody's prices, we listed every but all the other companies' prices. And we're the cheapest. We're the cheapest. So now, when you come on board this opportunity, and you, you know, I tell everybody, we, we test, 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 okay? Come on, stick your pinky toe in the water, get you a few customers or whatever, and then watch it perform. And you see it performing for you, and it's making you money. Now you throw the kitchen sink at this monster, <laughs> okay? Put your head down. You say, okay. Sit down with your family. Say, okay, guys, how much money we want to make? 
<laughs> how much do we want to make? We want to make $100,000. Okay. Looks like these customers are buying once a month, okay? Looks like they're buying once a month. So let me, let's do the arithmetic on it. <laughs> okay, they do it once a month, okay? That means that for every customer, I'm going to make $120 a year, okay? For every customer. So what I need to do is take this $120 per customer and divide it to 100,000 to 100, 100, people, okay? $100,000, I mean, okay? What is that number? You take $100,000 and divide it by 120. Anybody, anybody let, me, let me look at this up. I'll just show you how to do the math with your family. You know, some of the biggest deals that has ever come in existence, you know, you know what the deal was first written on? A napkin in a, in a uh, restaurant. You hear me? A napkin in a restaurant. Tell you, get your napkin <laughs> and write this down with your family. We want to make $100,000. Okay? Take the $100,000 and figure that a yearly, one customer is worth $120. So you divide it by 120. You need 833 customers. Okay, that's what we need, guys. So we're gonna go to work, get 833 customers. I'm like, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna make a million dollars, so I need 8,333 customers. So I can make a million dollars, okay? I don't care what the number is. If we got tens of thousands of people a day downloading the app, as it gets more and more popular, and I'm gonna tell you how we are gonna pull that off, then you can have as many customers as you want, okay? And so if you want to know, like for 833 customers, all you got to do is divide that by, um, by uh, see, you get 10 customers for $5. So divide it by 10, divided by $10. That's 83 times 5. I mean, no, times 50. Okay, $4,166 to accumulate 100,000 customers, for instance. Okay? that will pay you for life, $100,000 a year. And if you're smart, you reinvest. You keep building, keep building, keep building. You know, so you say next year, we want to do, we're going to go up to 500,000. And we're going to use the money we made and put it, put it in and get more customers. Because the customer stays around. They don't just come and go. Because they're using the technology to promote their, their business, okay? And so it becomes an integral part of whatever they're doing because it, it does it so much better than anything else. And even if competition comes along, we still, we got probably two years, you know, in this thing. But how we get all these customers to find out about us or whatever. All right. We hired a publicist, okay? Because I knew what we had was revolutionary and I knew that it was newsworthy. And so the publicist reached out to people to write articles about it. They wrote the articles and published it, okay? But there's some big boys in the game, okay, that I purposely did not, we didn't go after the big boy. We didn't go after CNN and Bloomberg and Forbes and Fox News and Good Morning America and, you know, all these big companies like that. Because once it hits their publication and, and, and their TV shows and their podcast and all that, then big major people going to pay attention to you, okay? And we got a better mousetrap. We got a better mousetrap, baby. We got it, okay? We got it. We own it. It works. It works beautiful. I mean, it works. God, dog, it was, cra it was trash in the beginning. Trash, you know? <laughs> I'm on the phone with people, and um, I'm talking to somebody. She said, she say, your, 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 your app is trash. I said, get them on the phone. I get on the phone with them. I say, hey, I heard you say the app was trash. I just wanted you to know you're absolutely right, okay? I say, today is trash. I say, but I promise you in 60 days, it won't be trash. Uh, it's going to be tr a treasure, okay? But we had to start somewhere. So just, you know, I know you want it to be perfect today, but it ain't perfect today. But it will be, <laughs> so as I'm talking to you right now, because I would not rest until it is absolutely perfect. And I'm not going to put it in the app store until it's perfect because once we give it to the world, we can't take it back. Somebody downloads it and it doesn't work. They're going to give us a one star, say this app doesn't work, it's trash or whatever, and, you know, and just destroy it. 
But if they put in there and it works the way it works, bam, all the contacts come up, bam, they can create the list. They hit that button to, to send their message out. But I got your message. I got your message. Thank you for, for sending it to me. They think you just sent it to them. You sent that message to tons of people. <laughs> you know, and it rewrote. Everybody got a different message. You know, but it says the same thing. Genius. It's genius. So when we go to the big boys and they start putting it, all the um, the media stuff out there, you know, about the app, it makes the news. It's on, you see it on ABC News that night or whatever. Uh, Textgram, you know, hottest new revolutionary app, you know. Uh, and, and then the big money shows up, okay? The big boys. There's a guy out. I talk about him quite a bit. You know, um, he's a venture capitalist, okay? I read his book. I know how he thinks. He invests in technology. He says he only invests in technology that's 10 times better than anything that's currently out. Okay. So when he sees this, he's going to write a check. Okay. When he writes the check, he's going to write it. He's going to write it. I'm telling you right now. I know how I know. He said he wants to be 10 times better. Ours is 100 times better. Right now. Okay. The end thing out there. And the reason he said he wanted to be at least 10 times better, he said, because that company has an opportunity to create a monopoly. His name is Peter Thiel, and his, his concept is the 10X. 10X is what he calls his, his um, uh, position on companies. 10X. Look it up. It's not um, that the, the, the guru guy. His name is Peter Thiel, but he calls this, uh, his technique the 10X uh, uh, technique. Okay? So anyway, I'm giving you this knowledge here because I want you to know I have went and looked into the future of this thing, and so I can see exactly what it, what it, you know, how how to play the how to move the the, the chesses on the pieces on the chessboard. I can see how to move them. <laughs> you know, I studied it, all right. And so the thing about him is when he puts his money in, first money in. He picks up the phone. He calls his boy. What is boy? Say, we got a company in play. It's a unicorn. Okay. They call that's a company that could be worth over a billion dollars. It's a unicorn. Services the world. Great, great, great tech. Works the way it's supposed to. Okay. I'm in. I got in for, uh, for 1%. The guy said, okay, what does it cost to get in? He says $5 million. Now, Peter may have paid a million dollars, okay, to give them 1%. He makes a phone call to one of his boys. His boys say, okay, yeah, we're in. Our fund is in for $5 million. So now Peter's $1 million is worth $5 million, okay? So he just made $5 million out of thin air with one phone call. And the boy that just spent $5 million, he pick up a phone call his partner. Hey, uh, Peter's in, I'm in. Got a new new tech company out, mobile app, worldwide. It's gonna be big, 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 huge. Got great technology. One percent, ten million dollars. We're in. So now the guy who had a million, his ten, his million worth ten. The guy five million is worth ten now. And they just keep running up the ladder, you know. And so the the, you know, if you go look, you can look up Facebook. Um, uh, venture capital raids. And you can just follow the numbers, okay? It's public knowledge. And it got up to the point to where uh, Microsoft gave Facebook $240 million for 1.3%. Now, why are they taking such a little percentage? This is not like um, um, that shark show or whatever. Um, it's not like that. That's not how real money is made, okay? It's not how it's real made, you know? They run it up the ladder like they're raising the valuation. But once you have enough meat on the bone so everybody can get a piece to raise the valuation up, then somebody comes along. They're going to buy it. They're going to buy the technology. They're going to buy it. Okay. Um, and I have a, I've already put the, I know the, the value that everybody brings to the company. The more value you bring to the company, then when it comes, if that day comes or whatever, the bigger payday you're going to get from this. Okay. And, you know, and then I got another move after that because now we got tons of money. So, you know, what we do, <laughs> we do, 
is we create our own venture capitalists. And you know how do we do? We sit there and watch what Peter Thiel buys. Okay? Where he puts his money, we go and put our money. Okay? Because we know that he's trying to take a million dollars and turn it into 500 million. Okay? And so, so we put our money, follow right, right. Just what, what Peter do today? Okay, we're doing the same thing. <laughs> and we just do that. He's done all the research. He's, he's the guy who know how to pick them. First money in the Facebook, first money in the Google, first money in the YouTube, Instagram, all this stuff. First money in, you know? And so, uh, uh, you know, the guy, you know, is a billionaire because of that. But, you know, you got to have money to play this game. So we're going to have the money. And, um, you know, making money, I always say this, the easiest money, the most money you ever make in your life. Hear me out. You don't listen. Nothing else I say tonight. Remember nothing else I said. I want to share with you that the most money you ever going to make ever in life is absolutely going to be the easiest money you ever made. The easiest. Drive around one of these, the richest neighborhoods you can find in the middle of the day. One o'clock in the afternoon. You'll see people out walking their dog, you know, uh, <laughs> watering their flowers. You know, stand at the mailbox, just laughing and talking with people. You know, you know, going out to the, check their mail. You know, middle of the day. You know, what do you do? <laughs> All the cars in the driveway. You know, kids. You know, uh, in the summertime, uh, out in the front of the house. You know, and they standing out by the cars, just you know, talking or whatever in the front of the yard, or whatever. And uh, what do they do? I went and did that in um I was in Florida. And you know, I, I you know, I I just explore. So I drive around these big old gigantic wealthy neighborhoods. I look at these big old houses. I see it's just people just just living life, right? I so when you had to go over like a little bridge, you know, and so you get to see in the back of the house. And so I see the back of the house, I see a house, I see a big old pool, then I see the water right behind the house, and I see a yacht sitting behind the house, a big one. And then I see a helicopter on the yacht. <laughs> I said, oh, hold on, oh, oh, hold on. Wait a minute, this is hooked up to his house. I'm saying, okay, what are these people doing? I guarantee you they ain't digging no ditches. You know, I guarantee you that. I guarantee you that they money is just, they don't, they don't think about money. They don't think about it. It's not, they, you know, it is not hard for them. The hardest million to make is your first one. Everybody will tell you that, and that is the truth. That's the hardest one to make, you know. And so when you get, when you find something that can, can, can really go, you know, what I do when I find something that works, because you never know how long it's going to last. You don't know. It could last forever, but you don't treat it that way. You go get it. Everything is worth. You work it. You don't play with it. You don't. You don't. You don't think about it. You go to work, and you don't look up till you have surpassed your goal. And you set a goal. Sit down with your family. Set a goal so you can so you can celebrate when y'all make it. Don't not do it and set a goal. Then you never had a celebration because you never. Won the championship. There's, there's nothing like setting a goal and then working your butt off to get to that goal. And then when you get there, everybody celebrates. We're having a party because we reached our goal. Now you're talking. That, now you're talking. And so, so you know, I'm going to just share a lot of stuff with you guys as time goes on. About money and stuff like that. And so even then, when... Um, when we, you know, take care of you guys on, we, you know, get to that. I'm just telling you down the road. I'm going to give you that in stock. Why would I give it to you in stock and why you want it in stock? Because if we give it to you in cash, tax man is coming knocking on your door, okay? Give it to you in stock, okay? Don't sell your stock. Keep your stock. But borrow against your stock, okay? And then the stock continues to increase. And as it increases, that difference in value will allow you to re get a bigger loan, pay off the first loan, okay, and never have to pay 
it, you know, just paying interest, okay, on that money, but you ain't paying it because the value of the stock is paying. It. So <laughs> this is what they're doing, guys. They, they, man, it's a whole nother world out here, all right? And so, uh, you know, we, we know uh, that WhatsApp, you know, uh, everybody's familiar with that now. But they bought WhatsApp 20 years ago for $19 billion. And do you know how much money WhatsApp has made in the past 20 years? Zero. It's made no money. They got so much money, they just want to control all the technology. And we're going to let them control it, too, you know? Go down and control it. They go pay us to do it, but hell, now we we just we change our children's 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 life. Okay, with a maneuver like this, if we go to work. Okay, that's all I'm gonna say to you right there. I ain't gonna make you do nothing. I ain't your mom, ain't your daddy, or whatever. And you, you know my philosophy. You know, um, you think I ain't gonna do it? You you think I'm gonna quit? Do you think? Anywhere inside you say, you know, that man right there ain't going to do that. Is there anything inside you say that? <laughs> yeah, just, 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 just any little bit that make you say, you know what? He just be just playing. <laughs> okay, you can believe I'm playing if you want to. <laughs> Don't believe I'm playing. <laughs> A lot of people have underestimated me all my, my whole life. You know, think, like, think I'm, I don't know what I'm talking about. Think, um, you know, because really people don't really know. They don't really know how my mind works. They don't know. Yeah. They, they don't know, you know. And so, uh, you know, uh, and I don't tell them everything, you know. So they don't know really what I'm capable of doing, really what I'm capable of doing. Because, you know, I just, I just, you know, I never really had a worldwide product before. So saying that, I want to share some things with you guys because this is important for all of us. I need you to listen to me. When you go online, we got to police the name, Textagram, okay? When you go online and you, you do a Google search for Textagram, there's some stuff up online now that should not be online talking about Textagram, okay? Uh, so... Um, I'm going to make some phone calls or whatever, but we all need to police it. So we see somebody like do a video or something like that, and it's all, it's kind of, it, it, you know, it's not a good look for our brand or whatever. We need to say, hey, you know, you're breaking our, uh, our trademark rules. You need to take that down. And then reach out to me and let me know, and uh, I'll have our attorney send them a letter. We're not going to play with that name. If you want to promote this, make videos or whatever, we got a marketing side for that. Let's let AI pay you. You can do anything you want to do with Let AI Pay You. Anything you want to do. Post it online, whatever you want to post online or whatever. You want to do a show or a show or whatever, a, a podcast, not on Textagram. Can't do it. But you can do it with Let AI Pay You, Let AI Pay You which is the same product, just rebrand it and separate it from our retail name because we want to keep that clean as a whistle. Because the cleaner it is, when they look it up and they see that every, you know, ain't no, you know, it just it's clean, you know, clean. Then it's worth more money. If it's worth more money, we get paid more money. Okay, so we all have to police it as though it is our own, and and technically it is. Okay, and if you don't feel that way, then you ain't heard nothing I said. You have heard nothing that I said. Okay, you have you you ain't never been a part of a company like this before that has opened its doors to you at this stage of the game. Like I said, these things happen in country clubs, guys, okay? Where they sit down, um, they got $500,000 a year um, <clears throat> annual fee to be in it, and they have billion-dollar uh, 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 conversations at the country club. I ain't, they ain't never invited me. They invited you. <laughs> I'm still waiting on my call again to to a meeting with with uh with Bill Gates and and uh, uh Michael Dell and you know these uh, uh big boys. You know <laughs> I ain't got a call yet. <laughs> Sorry, uh, you know we need you at this meeting. Uh, uh, it's gonna be at the Country Club. <laughs> you know uh, we we got a you know billion dollar project we're working on and 
and we'd like you to attend. <laughs> ain't called, ain't come yet. <laughs> okay, <laughs> and so, um, so you know, this is this is it right here for us, and we probably won't have another one like this. Not like this. It could never be like this again. You know, uh, once once it's done, it's done. Because I, I'm gonna cut. I gotta cut it off. See, the numbers work as long as we don't take in too many affiliates. The numbers work because we know we're gonna have the customers. But if I take in as many affiliates, because everybody come down want to be an affiliate. Well, they can be an affiliate if they want to, but they will not be able to buy customers. Okay, only a hand a select group of people that's involved with it now will have the ability to purchase customers. So I make sure that we always have a hefty supply of customers that will allow you to scale the way you want to scale. Because we have no limits. It's no limit. I ain't put no caps on you, no limits, no nothing. That's why I say sit down with your family. Once we get going, know your numbers, know your numbers, follow it, you know, and listen to what we're saying. Pay attention, you know, <laughs> you know, things move quickly. Because the app is done, okay? And so, truthfully, I'm trying to get into uh, I'm trying to get into the app store. I think I should. I think we'll be in the Play Store by Monday, and and early next week. I think we'll be in for the iPhones, okay? Early next week, okay? Um, but uh, but it's done. You know, I, I never. You know, those words right there. I was like, you know. A long time work, you know, working, but it really ain't been that long. Maybe eight to ten weeks of really hard work, day and night, to say, okay, we now have something we can be proud of that's treasure, not trash. Okay, and we got to protect the name. We came up with the name Textagram along the route here, and tell me that ain't a perfect name. Tell me that's not a billion dollar name. Instagram, hundreds of millions of users. Telegram, hundreds of millions of users. Textagram, hundreds of millions of users. You hear where I'm going with this, guys? We have done it. We have done it. We have done it. Now, I'm going to share one other story with you right here so that you'll know, and then I'll take your questions, okay? Oh, but I'm going to bring up Bill, too. because um, So we hired, a, we got a, a, a person who does our um, <clears throat> press, um, you know, our... Um, they come for you do the media um, um, stuff for us, okay? But now we hired a press secretary too, okay? Let me explain this press secretary. On all the big speaking engagements and stuff like that, anything that we do online, we're going to uh, use our, our press secretary to do that, all right? And he's going to represent the entire company, tell them about the, the product, the plan, the service, and everything in a very professional manner. You know, he has a background in doing presentation, high-end presentations, uh, Fortune 500 companies, stuff like that. And so um, we're going to, you know, imagine Johnson said something. He said uh, when he first started, he went to his billionaire friends when he first started. His billionaire friends said, you're doing it all wrong. He said, you're the best basketball player. He said, so you need to hire the best accountants, the best, you know, uh, representation, lawyers, everything like that. You need to have the best if you want to become what you can possibly become. You can't get there with, with you know, unless you build a, a, a team of powerful people that they like that. And so I never forgot that, that lesson when he said that. And so, you know, we make, we try to find talented, talented people. And that's who we want to work with. I tell you, when I spot you, if you make yourself known to me and you have talent, it does not go unnoticed and it does not go unrewarded too. You know, because that's the kind of person I am. I want to make sure you give me, a, you give me a little, I'm going to give you a lot. I've been that way my whole life. You cannot be around me. You cannot be around me for any length of time and not see growth in yourself and your, in the way you think. You know, you just can't be around me because that's all I do. I don't, I, I'm not a little bit this way, not a little bit that way. I'm one way. All the time, all the time, I'm turned on, I'm working, I'm thinking, I'm, you know, on, you know, I'm figuring stuff out and, uh, and I'm moving for, I don't sit down and just do nothing. That's not what I do. You know, I just don't do it. And it's not because people say, why you work so hard? It ain't work. 
I just love what I do. You know, when you see somebody who love what they do, you know what I'm saying? I do stuff for people all the time. I don't even ask them for no money. I don't, I don't I, you know, I'm just here to help. If I can help you, you know, I want you to be successful. And no, what, what does it cost? It never, I don't, I don't, I'm not charging you a thing. I'm not charging you a thing. When I was, when I was 23 years old, I got to tell you, I'll start. I, I, <laughs> okay, here's just a little quick story. Then I will take questions. Um, I was 23 years old. I think I, I told you guys about, we used to do these trade shows and stuff. And so uh, it was a real distinguished looking lady at one of the trade shows. And it was before the show started. And so what happened was I uh, was at the booth standing next to her. She was looking at some, some makeup and stuff. And she said, oh, I forgot my purse, blah, blah, blah. And she said, I'm not going to get a chance to get back for the show because we get real busy. I was standing next to her. I heard her say, I'm, I say, yeah, you know, I, I get, we're the same way. I say, I say, sir, how much is that, that thing? It might have been around, you know, 50, 60 bucks. I say, here, sir, let me take care of that for her. I just paid it. This lady said, young man. You don't have to do that. I said, I know it's real. We get real busy too. So here, you know, just go have yourself, you know, a good show. I went my way and she went hers. So about a year, about a year later, I'm going down. I fly to Chicago. I'm in Revlon. I'm going down the hallway to pitch a, a project to one of the VPs, one of the people, top people at, at Revlon. The woman comes running out the door and she said, young man, what are you doing here? I said, I'm here to see so-and-so. She said, well, he works for me. She said, y'all have y'all meeting in my office. I walked out that place with a $50,000 check, okay? But that's just a start, because here's the real story. You know, a woman would call me. She would call me on the phone. She'd say, Troy, I got the president, the uh, vice president, our head of this, head of that, head of We all have a meeting here, and we have a problem. she say, this is the situation. What do you think? Okay, well, blah, you know, she do like blah, 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 like this, you know, and I would do it this way, this way, because just here, if you think about it, you know, people not thinking like that, I'm just, you know, just, you know, just blast it, boom, 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 boom. And she, they, she say, I told y'all, I told you. <laughs> That's what she was telling to the VP and all them. I told you, you, I told you it was like that, you know, and I didn't even, it was nothing to me, nothing. She said, what do we owe you? She don't owe me anything. You know, that, that was a piece of cake. I didn't, even, I didn't even think about it, you know? And so, they, how do you do that? How do you not do it? That's my thinking, you know? And so, uh, so it comes easy to me, but we can't squander, okay? Because we just cannot squander it because we may never see it again. We probably will never see that again. I'm just telling you right now. It's because it's, it's just very rare. And when people like that, think like that, they either crazy <laughs> You know, I'm telling you, because it's easy to be you know, eccentric. You, you, so the fine line between being a genius and being crazy as hell, okay? It's easy, you know, but because I am transparent, I don't have no, I don't, you know, I'm crazy because I don't have no filter. I just talk, you know, and I tell you the truth, whether you want to hear it or not. And that's probably crazy. So I probably shouldn't talk as much, but that's just how I am, okay? If you ask me a question, I'm going to tell you the truth. Okay, if you ask me to do two things at one time, I'm going to tell you no. I'm going to do this one thing, and then I'm going to do the thing number two. And if I'm doing number one, and you keep talking about number two, I'm going to stop doing number one, and you're not going to get neither one or two done. <laughs> you know, I have to do that, that all the time. One thing at a time. One thing at a time. Because <laughs> he like to jump around from everything real quick. I just, I, you know, it just doesn't work for me. But that one thing I do, I'm going to finish it. I'm going to finish it. And that, that, that works for me. And I think that'll work for anybody. So uh, um, let's bring on Bill. Bill, are you there? Are you on, on, on mute? You see Bill? Or will you? Bill, are you there? Let's see. I'm not sure if he's here, Troy. OK. Well, we'll get him next time. OK. okay. I will come back to him, but guys, me, I tell you what. Let me let me finish one other thing. This is what okay. he found out. Okay, okay. He, um, you know, in your back office, as a free gift, we give you a discount plan. Now, a lot of you may not pay attention to this, all right? But the discount plan in your back office, you need to go look at it. Okay, it's totally free. But he used it to uh, 
lease a room to rent a room when he was traveling. And he's held how he's holiday in, um, like top member or something like that. And they gave him a price of $189. And so, so he said, let me just try the discount program in the back office. So he called the, he, you know, set it up, went online, put it in there. He got a price. I'm here. Can you hear me? Yeah. Can you hear yeah. me, Troy? Yeah. You want to tell me the story? Sure. Absolutely. Yeah. So I got my mic working. I don't know if my video is working, but I got my mic working anyway. So anyway, so, um, so yeah, my wife and I have a, a party to go to up in uh, Massachusetts in uh, November. Okay. And so we needed to book a hotel up there to stay for the night because I don't want to drive back. You know, this part is going to get out late. And I don't want to drive back midnight, you know, like, you know, three hour drive. So I found a holiday inn in Pittsfield, Massachusetts. That's, you know, on the way home and a very convenient location. So I'm a member of Holiday Inn Rewards. I've been using them for years and I always get premier pricing from them. OK. And so I call Holiday Inn Rewards. I booked a hotel one night, two adults, you know, one king bed. And they gave me a price of 180, it was a 180, I got it written down right here, 189, exactly 189.48. And I thought that was pretty good, right? So then you know, I hang up the phone. One of the things I like about that service is, you know, you can cancel right up until before the, you know, the event. So, you know, something that comes up, you know, I've had a bad experience with like booking.com before I booked a hotel and then I realized, like, within a half hour, it wasn't going to work. It was in the wrong location. I tried to cancel. Like, I called them. I said, sorry, it's booked already. You can't cancel. I'm like, what? That's the last time I'm using Booking.com. Forget it. Okay. I'm done with them. So, I, you know, I'm thinking about, so like, a little light went on in my head after I booked this hotel. And I said, wait a minute. I got this uh, this discount, you know, membership here that comes along with my, you know, with my membership. Let me let me test it out. I went in there, went to hotels, found the same exact hotel, and I booked the same exact room on the same night for one hundred and twelve dollars and thirty one cents, a savings of seventy seven dollars. So I, I went back to my holiday rewards, the email they sent me, and I just clicked the button that said cancel, and it said it's canceled, no problem. I don't owe them anything. And by the way, this service also allows me to cancel it. If something changes and I'm going to get all my money back. So to have a cancellation policy that you don't get with like booking.com and just for the heck of it, I went to booking.com and what cheaper than them. So and you can't beat it. I mean, the, I, I was blown away by how much I saved. And when I told my wife, you know, I got a room for 189. We're kind of used to these numbers. She's all right. Then I went upstairs. I said, cancel that out. Got the same room for 112 using the, discount program in this new program that I joined here with Textagram. She's like, wow, $112. That's absolutely amazing. I am totally and completely blown away. And I can't wait to go uh, compare the car insurance based on the story you told me about your buddy, your friend there with the Maserati, because I got a Cadillac and they're soaking me on my car insurance. So now I'm going to go and check the car insurance discount. I'll let you know how that works. Okay. Well, I'll tell you my friend, he had a Maserati, okay? And he, they wanted an extra $2,000 a year to add it to his already extra $2,000 extra to add one car. You know, he had five, they gave him a total of five cars. And so I told him, I said, man, go, go register, okay? Just, just register for free. You know, this is a free gift that, I, that we give away to people, you know, show them do we appreciate them even looking at us, okay? It's a free gift. Go register. So he went registered. Say, check check out the discount. Put your stuff in there for your car insurance. Yeah. He called me back. This is what he said exactly. He said, man, they added my fifth car on, my, on the insurance policy. They dropped my price $200 a year and gave me more coverage than what I had before. <laughs> he was going to have to pay an extra $2,000 for less coverage a year and it sort of saved him over two thousand dollars a year and i gave it to him for free okay that's the kind of value i bring to people because i i, I like bringing people value because i know this if you help enough people get what they want you'll always be able to get what you want when things went totally bad for me i had nothing in this world nothing it was the people all of the so many people that i helped out Many, many people came and helped me, 
helped me to get me through that time. And if I, not everybody, some people shocked the hell out of me, <laughs> you know, but some people stepped up to the plate and truly helped me. And I, and <laughs> I told you, you helped me out. Uh, you ain't never got the word no more, you know, about nothing. Cause I'm, I'm, you know, you call me, I'm always ask your call. I'm always help you for help. And, you know, I might be down today, but don't think I'm staying now. Don't do not believe it. Don't, don't believe about it. It's just saying it's impossible. You know, cream go always rise to the top. Always. It, it's always. All the always go to the top. So, you know, that's, you know, just a quick story for you guys. So don't, don't, don't sleep on that. The reason I didn't make it real a part of a textogram as far as on the front page and all this, that I want to keep the message so clean, you know, for that. And so it's just an added bonus that we give people to say thank you, you know, just for trying us out. So so I'm gonna add that into it when it's downloaded. Say, okay, special surprise we gave you. We gave you a discount program to save you thousand dollars a year on uh, you know, services, products and services. You know, you need to take a look at it. It's very, very powerful. So if you guys have any questions, I'd be happy to take your questions at this time. Thank you, Bill. Wow. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you, Bill, so much for sharing that. And guys, you know, I would encourage the rest of you, if you are having experiences like Bill has, and share those with us. Be, be, I mean, just be more than happy to share them with us because we're all one great, beautiful community here of like-minded people helping each other. So Bill, can't thank you enough for that, man. And let's start with some questions. Paul, let me ask you to unmute yourself. You've been holding your hand up for a minute. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir. Great presentation, um, gentlemen. Fantastic. Um, is there anything about Textagram besides the name that um, has or can be trademarked or copyrighted or patented? You know... The trademark is the most important thing um, because it stops people from, it gives our, our brand a, um, a value, okay? Because nobody can use it but us. And so that's really what we care about. The technology itself can't really do technology like that. Technology is gonna continue to go and increase. Even the app as it sits now, is not how the app will be a year from now. It'll be, be progress much further than it is today. You know what I'm saying? So, so you can't really lock that in, but you don't have to. If you gain market share, remember this in business, okay? Facebook did not have to patent social media website. They didn't patent that, but they got the biggest platform. And because they were first to market with the best platform they won okay they won instagram share pictures what are other picture sharing companies usually they never heard of them before but they are there instagram don't care about you starting your little mom and pop thing or whatever they won they got the market youtube there's no competition for youtube and e ebay they might be other stuff out there a little bit here a little bit there no company can control it all well, I ain't gonna say that one. Well, no, there's no company that can control it all because Meta, which is Facebook, you know, they go against Google and uh, on their Google and them are, are going back and forward, you know, on, on gaining who can get the most technology, okay? And so, so um, they just wanna control all the technology and uh, uh, as much as they can get a slice of that pie. They got all the money in the world. Money means nothing to them, nothing to them at all. And so, we got the trademark. That's where the value is. We keep it clean. We build it. We get the numbers on our side, proof, uh, con proof of concept, and we just continue to, continue to raise the, uh, the, the um, value up, you know, as we continue to go more and more customer base worldwide. And, you know, by the time somebody pick up what we're doing, they'll never catch us. They'll never catch us, you know? So all the smart money is with us. <laughs> beautiful beautiful is the stock market in the future all right well okay that's a good question 
That's a really good question. And so <laughs> that's a decision that cannot be made today, okay? However, let me let me share this with you. I don't want to go into a bunch of detail here. I don't, I can't go into a bunch of detail, but I will share the concept with you, okay? As the valuation keeps going up and up and up and up and up, then the big boys will come up with the exit strategy. And the exit strategy may be to take it public. That may be the exit strategy. But today, what's happening more than taking something public is that one of these big, big, gigantic um, web presences like Google or Meta or something, they come acquire you. And so that's really the clean way to do it. They come acquire you for billions of dollars. You know, and then, then you know, I keep, keep a little small, little piece of it, a little teeny weeny piece. So you always have something coming from it or whatever. But, you know, that's their game. Let them play that game. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm gone. I'm, 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 I'm good. You know, how much money do you need? You know, I'm 62 years old. I, I you know, and I didn't work all my life. I didn't work like a dog. <laughs> well, I'm going to kick, I'm going to kick it for a minute. <laughs> You know, I'm lying. I'm going to keep working. <laughs> but it won't be doing that stuff. You know, we'll be following Peter Thiel. So hopefully I answered your question, Paul. That's a good question. Okay, great. Paul, excellent question, man. And I know that helps a lot of people on the call. Jim, unmute yourself. I think I did. Yes, you did. You did. Oh, okay. Simple question. How do I sign up? <laughs> I Just yesterday. go uh, to the website. Were you referred by anybody, Jim? Uh, I don't even remember now. <laughs> okay, well, if you just go to the website, uh, textagram.com, okay, and you'll see the packages there. We have a free package, we have a $37 package, and we have a $57 package. Uh, the $57 package is the best bargain, um, but, you know, whatever you feel comfortable with, sign up with that. And uh, if you do the 37 or 57, you're going to get some codes, okay? $37 gets you one code. So when you download the app, the app is going to have a button there that says, um, it says add credits, okay? And when you click on the add credits button on the app, it's going to ask you for a code. So you copy that code from your back office, you put it into the app and, and submit, you know, and it'll give you 2,500 messages. But when you download the app, you're able to, to try it out with 10 free credits first just to test it out, all right? Uh, but if you go on and buy it, you can test it out, still test it out with 10, and then um, use the code to add 2,500 ticks. So every time you run out, you spend $37, you can get uh, 2,500 more credits. Which uh, Troy, Troy, not to interrupt you, I've tried that, all right? I uh -huh. clicked the button, and it took me to a screen that said debit card, credit card. I, cre I clicked that. And I get a screen telling me we can't open your wallet. So it refers me over to PayPal. Okay, PayPal, yeah, just keep going. Just keep going. I can't. I've been banned from PayPal. I don't have a Oh, PayPal. you've been banned from PayPal. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, okay. Um, try the... Oh, shoot. Okay, you know what, sir? If you call me tomorrow, okay? Call me tomorrow because we have... We have, I have another system that we put up. Um, I saw something that says you take, pay, your pioneer is your payout. Yeah, but that's, that's we, okay, we added something last night. Uh, let me think, where did he put it? I don't know where he put it. Um, give, give, me, give me a second, let me, um, I think. Um, okay, I know where he got it. So if you call me tomorrow, okay, I, is your number on the the screen or on the on the page? You got something to write with. I give it to you now, okay? Because we put up a second choice. Because um, we put up another pay, pay, payment process, so we have another second payment process up. But we also have a third payment processor too. All right, and we're gonna put that up. Um, we're gonna put that up, um, but it's not up yet. <laughs> I tell y'all why it's crazy. Okay, that's okay. <laughs> as long as you got another option. Yeah, we, we do have another option. Is you just got to add it. We added it last night to one of the websites, but I want to move it over to Textagram 
for you. So, to, you know, just to keep it tight for you. We'll move it over there. Okay. Okay. Uh, is your number with, well, on the Textagram site, I assume? Uh, yeah, but I just give it to you. It's 832. 832. 876. 876. 2700. 2700. Yeah. Great. Yeah. That helps a lot. Yeah, You're we're in... step ahead of you. We're step ahead of you on that because we worked on it last night. It's done. We just, we got it up. I'm going to tell you where it is right now. It's, it's on letaidoitforyou.com. If you go there, you'll see it. However, it's, we'll put it on Textagram tonight for you, okay? And All so right. tomorrow, tomorrow, if you check it, if you have a problem, just call me, okay? But we'll get it up I for you. Right. You're, in, you're in Texas? Yes, in Houston, Texas. Okay, you're an hour behind. Yeah. <laughs> so like I said, we, I noticed that, you know, we're adding to it every day and we got it built already. We just got it. That's fine. At least I got a over. way to go. Okay. Yes, sir. We're going to always be proactive here. Great. Congratulations, Jim, and welcome to the club. Hey, you're welcome. All right. Thank, thank you. you, Jim. Appreciate yeah. you, man. Welcome Can't wait to work with you. Can't okay. wait to work with you. Keisha, unmute yourself. Good evening, Jim. How are you? Hey, doing fine, Keisha. Good again? Okay, Keisha. Uh, yeah, my question is also in reference to payment because I have a lot of folks that um, are like in Africa and other countries that have other types of payment methods other than what we generally use in the U.S. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. my question was along the same lines. How can they pay? Okay, well, they should be able to pay um, through that second service that, I, that I'm going to show Jim about. Okay, I'm going <laughs> to tell you how you know it's there. If you, you know, you can just play with it yourself, but you go and click on... Um, like $37 or whatever, and mm -hmm. then it's going to ask you for an email address, make up an email address, okay? Just make it up. But don't mm -hmm. go all the way through. Just make it up. And when you make it up, it's going to take you to a page that's going to say, like, um, I think it says, it might say pay with, with a card, debit card, credit card, and there's another button that's going to say, like, pay with crypto, okay? And so either, they should be able to do it either way. <laughs> They should be able to do it either way, Keisha. Okay. And we talked today. I appreciate you. Mm -hmm. We talked today, be. right? Yes, we did. <laughs> I enjoy talking to you. Uh, so um, I, what happened is Keisha signed up somebody uh, today, and I was looking at the transaction, and I just went, I called her and made sure she got her money. She told me she had gotten it. So, yeah. But, yeah, if you, uh, if, you know, t tomorrow you'll have the option there. For, okay, great. for that, the crypto side, because we built, that's working already. We built it already. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Congratulations, Keisha. All Thank right. you very much. All right. <laughs> Anthony, you're hot. Unmute your mic. Well, can you hear me? Yes, yes sir. sir. Very clearly. Keisha just actually asked, well, you have to answer the, my question. Mm -hmm. About crypto, about crypto. Mm -hmm. was just wondering if, when it was become becoming available because my upline he decided not to help me until mm -hmm. crypto was available. Okay, well, no, we got it. You know, we just got it. We got it up right now on Let AI do it for you. But you know, we're moving away from that to Let AI pay you and Textagram. Okay, yeah. and so uh, we'll move it over to those sites tonight. Okay, that works for me. Great yes, presentation, sir. gentlemen. Thank, Thank you, sir. You for me. Thank you, Anthony. Mike, mm -hmm. unmute yourself, Mike. Uh, hello, and uh, thanks for answering my questions. But uh, uh, I'd like to know with the promotions that we bought uh, initially on the uh, Let AI Do It For You, mm -hmm. can we still use those if we, uh, uh, you know, we bought... Uh, some of those uh, advertising promotions. I'm, I'm going to let you turn them into customers. If that works out the way we want it to, you're going to do better. Turn them into customers. So if you just be patient with me, you may get a lot more than what you were thinking from from that purchase. A lot more. Okay. Can can we still buy those promotions? Or? Yeah, you can still buy it. Yeah. Yeah. We got people. I got people to have a hundred of, you know, because, uh, um, the minute that you know this thing comes and they can turn them into customers, you know, like I said, think about that for a minute. I think in the um, 
an example, if, you know, that took 83 um, to, to get to that magic number. You had to buy, um, buy customers 83 times. So we got people right now that can get over $100,000 uh, a year um, a year in residual income from the amount of uh, of credits that they are, not credits, but uh, codes that they've already purchased. Absolutely. Oh, I see. Uh, okay, uh, thank you. Yeah, stock up on them, man, because <laughs> when we turn this beast on, it's gonna be a mad dash. <laughs> uh, if someone that I signed up earlier and gave them a code, uh, but they weren't able to use it because they have an iPhone. Yeah, they, yeah, just tell them to hang on to it. When the iPhone come on, come up here in the next next week or so, they'll, they'll be able to go through it and use it on the iPhone. Okay. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Mike. And guys, listen, we want to thank every one of you for being here. I hope you all can see that this is an investment in you. Guys, the things that have been shared on this Zoom tonight are just absolutely amazing. There is nothing like tapping into the mind of a big thinker. Nothing like tapping into a visionary. And that's what we've been privy to. So we want to thank you all for being here. We're going to be back tomorrow night with our regular Zoom presentation at 7 p.m. And then we'll back, be back on Monday and Tuesday. And then next Wednesday with the president. So did we guys, get Mike, did we get Mike's question? Yes, sir, Mike. You still you still have a question, Mike? I think he probably didn't take his hand down. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't take that. Okay, that's okay. Okay, and let's okay, great. So, guys, thank you all for being here. Guys, we're so so we're so blessed to be in this space at this time because, like I'm saying, one great idea can change your family's entire generation. And we're on top of it. So as we get ready to say goodnight, unmute yourself and let Troy know how much you appreciate him. You're awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Troy. Thank you. Do my best. Thank Don't you, my man. man. Thanks, Troy. <laughs> Thank appreciate you, Troy. It. Great call. Appreciate to you, all Troy. You I know you ain't going to never give up, baby. Don't never give up. Great job. Right on. <laughs> they'll Thank make a movie about me yes, what they talk about this dude crazy no matter how much this no matter how what you see in this movie and how unlikely it is it all really happened <laughs> <laughs> so uh anyway i appreciate you guys love y'all let's Thank make you, a whole guys. bunch of new stories right back at you good night y'all have a good night all right all right good night, everybody good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night bill appreciate good you good night have a great night everybody all right. Hey, Troy, this Miss T. Love you. Oh, you know I got you, Miss T. <laughs> All right. Hey, it's Bobby it's Buck in Hollywood. We can make that movie. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't. Okay. Good night, everybody. All right. Good, Good night. night. Good night.